Hey guys, welcome to another World of Tanks replay. A little bit of a difference today. Um, it's not me playing, so you may be grateful of that. You might see some proper tank play. Uh, we're with our friend, Salty Tater Chip, from the D-Nuts clan, and he's playing the Cobra. Uh, he put, put, posted this uh, replay to uh, one of the Discord channels I'm on, um, the uh, Quinetic Clan Discord channel. If you've not been there, head over there, check it out. Uh, it's a great group of people. And um, I was fortunate enough to uh, to watch this one after he'd posted it, and it was, uh, it was particularly good because um, I haven't struggled with my Cobra, but I've certainly not had anything of this caliber. Um, I, I think this is kind of a dilemma tank. How do I play it? I have um, such a long reload. I have such a massive bloom. You can see it right now. Um, and I think before he's fully aimed, Salty takes two shots there and still misses. He does connect with the third and luckily manages to track the tank, uh, allowing him to get that fourth shot in. But now he's going to sit around and you can see the, the reload there and it just takes forever. But this is the time when you have to look at the map Work out what's going on and decide what your next target is going to be. Now, I spoke to Salty about um, the equipment he has on, and I think he said he was running a turbo. He was also running coated optics. I think the view range of this tank base is like 370, so that's certainly a good idea. Um, not necessarily a sniping tank, but what you'll notice here is that not only does Salty do a lot of sniping uh, from distance, he does it while partially aimed and gets away with it. And I, I notice this a lot on the Barras. The Barras on paper has a very bad gun. Or not great gun handling, let's say. And yet, I see people do amazing things with it. And you see here now with Salty. He's taking his first two shots. He's moving. He's turning his turret. He's got those two shots left. Now, does he reload? Does he hang on? He's got a target, so let him hang on. Was he fully aimed there? I don't think he was fully aimed. But those two shots, and he took out the AMX 65T. So the question is, do you wait to be fully aimed or not? I guess that's down to your own play style. I tend to wait. I would hate missing these shots. Um, with, 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 having, with having four in there, um, after each time you fire and you get that bloom, and you have to wait for it to come in. And this comes into the field mods, which, again, Salty doesn't have. He's unlocked them all. He doesn't have credits to buy them. So which which ones would you have? And we're still waiting for this reload. So you see here, you get these lulls in the battle. So the, the important thing in the cover is don't get yourself caught out. Be in the right position. And there's a char coming, and the char is also a four-round autoloader. But luckily, Salty has support from his char. And there we go. One round, two round. Oh, armor not hit. He got three rounds in there. That was at very close range. Uh, and that is where this tank is most effective. But as we've already seen, even at distance, this thing can be incredibly good. Um, so let's take a look at the map. They're doing pretty well on this flank. That Char actually is just taking a good hammer in. He's down to 88 hit points. But you see our hero here, still on full hit points, um, waiting for his reload and taking his chances. Is there anything he can see? Now, what he could do here is rush this flank. He could rush this flank, he could hijack a tank, but as soon as he gets spotted, you know those uh, snipers in the air 4 position are going are gonna to try and uh, take him out. And um, once he's empty, he's in... And the other thing I've noticed here, what, what Salty uses a lot, is um, his, his auto-aim. And I'm pretty sure he got a blind shot there. Um, and we'll see that in the uh, the damage at the end of the, of the battle. And again, auto aim. It's, for me, it's a very selective thing that I use. Usually, when I'm in a light tank, running around someone, um, as long as you've got the good good turret to reverse, you, you just worry about driving. You don't have to worry about aiming. But Salty uses auto aim to great effect in this this battle, and it made me rethink whether I should be using auto aim in more situations. Now, of course, it comes down to the rounds on this tank as well. Where you have to look at the rounds that are available. And there are three different types here. Uh, Salty's just going to get a reload on, but does he have any targets? I guess while he's waiting, we can take a look at the rounds. Well, the rounds, um, which is the standard round here. Um, which is the heat round, and that's uh, penetration of 
268. Um, so good for a lot of vehicles, a lot of lights and, uh, and mediums um, or, or the side of some heavies. Uh, there's also a Hesh round, which uh, only has 210 penetration, but the damage goes up from 360 to 490. Okay, what's Salty doing now? He's moving a little bit forward. As he's going to try and take a look at something in the town. And again, reasonable camo on this, this tank comes down to the... Um, uh, I was looking at the field mods earlier, which Salty doesn't have, as we've already mentioned. Uh, and whether it's worth taking camo on this, um, or, or should should we be taking um, the other field mod that gives us um, turbo tuning, which is better reverse speed. Now that the uh, the whole armor on this uh, this tank isn't the best, but the turret has reasonable um, capabilities. Uh, and before we wrap up on the rounds that we were talking about, the, the highest damage round is the HE, is the classic HE with 515 damage but only 120 penetration. But you use those in the right situation, it's fantastic. But of course, again the dilemma is, what do I load? What situation am I heading into here? And if you don't know, then which round do you take? Do you pick a target and then pursue them? I don't know. I've played this tank a few times. I've had reasonable success with it. Uh, but um, there we go. One shot on a standard B. And he's gone. But now he's got three rounds left. And of course, Salt is using the Hesh here. Um, so yes, he has more damage, but his penetration is down at 210. And a T44 spots him. And a, that was a snapshot. He got three rounds in there. Look at that. I mean, that... That is not what a Cobra should do, but it's what a Cobra does do. And people have called this um, this tank OP in some respects. Uh, it's somewhat balanced by the fact you're waiting around a long time for that reload. But in the right situation, uh, I don't know if, if Salt is getting lucky here. Um, he's doing a lot of the things I wouldn't do. But he's having tremendous success with it. He's already up to 5,400. And we think he got some blind shots. And of course, here we see the downside of that long reload great side shot there on the artillery and he can do nothing about it that must be incredibly frustrating waiting waiting and this you know it has reasonable speed on this on this vehicle as well um i think let me just take a look the uh oh the top speed's 40 so it's actually not that quick which i guess is why salty put a turbo on there reverse speed 25 is good um, power to weight 18.4, yeah, workable. And certainly with that turbo, um, you can get around. Is Salty going to get any more shots in here? Has he, uh, has he left it too late to, to push forward? Now, this tank is available for Battle Pass tokens, and it's 24 at the moment. I think it's one of the most, if not the most expensive tank to get. Um, and what I did... Oh, look at the size of that balloon there. Is he going to try and take a shot? No. The scorpion's run behind the rock. And he's coming back out again. Um, um. <laughs> and he fires early and he misses, but he does. <laughs> did he get a tracking shot there? I don't think he did, did he? Um, okay, so I guess he's going to have to reload. The charioteer's gone in to the dip against the artillery there. So now you sat there thinking, oh, there's a scorpion in the corner. Who's going to go for it? I mean, Salty's got all the hit points. So I guess he's uh, he should be the one tanking the shots here for the team. But the scorpion is incredibly um, dangerous. And until he's loaded, is there any point in him moving forward? And the scorpion's running to the dip. And what's he going to do now? The, sc the scorpion knows what's coming. And again, auto aim there, I think. Is what Salty used. Yeah, absolutely. Ricocheted the second, nailed the third, and took down the game. And there we go. Over 6,000 damage. Um, I was I was very pleasantly surprised by what happened in this, in this battle. And I think I've learned a lot with the way Salty plays this tank. And I may have to alter the way that I'm playing it. Not saying that every battle will be like this, but I do need to reconsider um, sniping from a distance uh, to keep that Cobra in the background and safe. And um, 
and also using auto aim. It's only a first class here. Um, maybe that's because he was sniping with the back and not doing his own spotting. Very unlucky not to get a top gun, but did get the high caliber. Um, a whole chunk of experience there. And uh, look at all those vehicles that he hit. How many is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight vehicles, four kills. Yeah, like I say, shame, shame not to get a top gun with all that damage. And uh, I think if we do check out the damage, we'll see that we have more um, than what was posted in the battle. Cool, there's 6,500. So I think that was probably one of the blind shots on the charity in the corner. Um, 1,181 base experience and those four kills and obviously the, um, the medal for the, uh, the high caliber. How well did the other Cobra do? Ah, the other Cobra only did 429, but he did get two kills. I didn't really see him in the battle, so I'm not sure what he did. I'm assuming he went up the uh, east uh, east side there. And finally, a look at the, uh, the shots fired. So he actually fired 27 shots, but hit 19, and that's pretty good for any tank. Never mind one with the accuracy, um, the poor accuracy of the Cobra. Um, and 16 of those were, were, were penetration, so that's over 50% there. Total damage 65, and that's fantastic. And over 3,000 of that was from more than 300 meters. So this was not played at close range, which is what this tank is really best at, um, or perceived to be best at. Um, yeah, whole bunch of credits, whole bunch of experience there. So well done, well done, uh, Salty. This was a this was a great one to watch. I'm really glad you posted it. Until um, next time, take care now. Bye.